I am Colin Stone's evil twin brother, the blockchain bogus heart, and I have your bank details. I have accessed your emails and have found your secret stash of cat memes, and I will share them with the world unless you send me $1,000 of Apollo in the next hour. Got it? Good. Okay, see you tomorrow. I'm kidding. This is Mission Update, and today, of course, we are talking about being scammed, being hacked, crypto scams, the whole lot. As a reminder, this, of course, is your time and place, in case you're confused, for your daily dose of Apollo, the most feature-rich currency in the galaxy, as well as a dash of crypto space news and updates. So, back to the start now. Throughout the history of cryptocurrency, the more popular coins have risen into the mainstream, but many have had to deal with bad people taking advantage of their communities. I guess one could say that if your project is being scammed or hacked, it has become popular and valuable enough for this to occur. Not the greatest of silver linings, I know, but there are those pesky individuals who simply for selfish gain create scams. Apollo has had its share of people trying to scam the community and we want to remind you that Apollo or any of its admins will never ask or redirect you to a link that requests your passphrase. Never. Another good way to check out if a post seems fishy is by checking out our official Telegram announcement channel or going onto our Twitter feed for official contests, press releases and more. Remember, the only way that you can transact your funds is by using your passphrase, so always make sure that you are directly in your wallet. We also highly recommend using the Google Authenticator as a second form verification to protect your assets. Hacks, unfortunately, are also a part of this wild, wild west digital asset gold rush. You can rest assured, though, that Apollo has included into its platform some of the most advanced security technology for protection for our users and their wallets. Please, though, also remember that if or when an exchange experiences a security breach, this is a third party and independent of Apollo's incredible platform security. Okay, related crypto space news now, and while much of the crypto ecosystem waits to see how much government regulation will be involved in the future, a recent CNBC article I saw recommended that anyone who is scammed for their decentralized crypto should report it to local authorities. Telling the tale of Mr. and Mrs. Lachman Anke, the writer explains how hackers cracked the German couple's 40-character password and then went on to clean out their cryptocurrency wallets. But they did not go to the police or even alert the tokens issuer, the Berlin-based IOTA. What did they do? They bought more coins, deciding their cash was long gone. Even the FBI admit cryptocurrencies pose unique challenges, but your concerns will disappear once you're on board with Apollo and use our array of state-of-the-art security technology. Well, that is all we have time for today, but don't forget to come back for even more content tomorrow. In fact, why not scroll through all our previous episodes while you wait? We've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Telegram, as I mentioned. Make sure you check them out. And of course, thank you for watching. And for all of your constant contributions, we really value them. This has been Mission Update. And yes, I still have your cat memes.